All right, this is uh, Twin Peaks Into the Night, a fan-made, uh, I think it's like a survival horror. I don't know too much about the game. I'm going kind of blind, but uh, it's, it's done in the style of like a PS1 horror game. Uh, any, any Twin Peaks fans in the audience? I, I love this show. Big, big fan. Uh, and if you if you do know the series, you're gonna love this game. From what I've seen, it, it just kind of takes audio directly from the the show and just puts it in there. Instead of having like you know voice actors, they just take it right from the show. How dare you not give us plus size bodies to use in uh, BG3? Wait, they don't have that. That's weird. So you can mod it yourself. <clears throat> I did art. I, I asked to be a part of uh, the background dancers. I was denied. Making Mama in Baldur's Gate 3? Oh, that would have been awesome as well. She's dead. Wrapped in plastic. Svelte Mama. How about like Mama, like young Mama before she was like uh, an old bartender? Mama Origins. <laughs> Let's call it like Young Mama. Why U N G Mama? Good hip hop name. Young Mama in the house. <laughs> oh my God, this is sad. Poor Laura. She didn't deserve that. Laura Palmer does not deserve that. I don't know where this video is from. I don't know if this is like a an official video or something. I, I don't think I've seen this video before. I know the singer though. But yeah, if you haven't seen uh, Twin Peaks, it's a very weird show, super weird show, but worth uh, worth the watch. I'd call it like like one of the best introductions to uh, David Lynch. If you never know, if you if you know who he is, watching the show and the new the new series they did, the new season, those are both uh, in in the, in the movie as well. The movie is also really great. It's a good a good primer for her, who he is. our boy Dale Cooper it's been out there for as long as FBI is that a raven or a crow you never tell them apart hello Mr. Owl I like your potato chips Who the hell's that? Is that Laura's friend? Oh yeah, there's a character called Annie in this. And of course, she's a cool character. Just like Annie. There's the, uh, the red room. Persona 4 owes a lot to this room. Ah, the audio! <clears throat> She's not a blonde though, Annie. She's called Annie. There's the murder scene where Laura died. There's the, the backwards talking uh, little person. 
Oh, there's Bob. You don't want to see Bob. You never want to see Bob. I love this. One chance out between two worlds. Fire. Fire. Walk, Walk with me. me. Alright, that was long, but cool. Twin Peaks. Welcome to Twin Peaks. Alright. What kind of options we got here? I think I tweaked it so it looks a little bit better on on stream. Uh, default resolution is uh, 480. The, uh, the low resolution looks good if you have the filter on. The filter looks kind of weird on stream. But we're going to increase the resolution. A little bit. Hop in. <laughs> Fake Annie confirmed. Maybe she's actually blonde, but she dyes her hair black. February 24th, 1989. This morning, in the town of Twin Peaks, Washington, a dead body was discovered down by the shore, wrapped in plastic. Oh no. Covered in blood, too many secrets left hidden under the skin. Drowned below. A fire burning the flesh in a whisper. This is a story of many, yet it begins with one. A young high school girl known to many in a small community. The one leading to the many is Laura Palmer. R.I.P. Laura. Is the one. <laughs> I see you disguise. Maybe a few could stand the sadness, pulling up their tears. Oh, I think Annie was Laura's, like, to be devoured by best friends. friend, quote-unquote, best friend. Fire. Touched by the devilish one, it has bared many names, though few could see through its eyes. So poetic. A few miles from there, across the state line, emerges from the woods a second girl wandering down along the railroad tracks. Dazed, confused. Torn by the scars and evil left on her face. Her name was Renette Pulaski. A desperate call that would echo throughout the darkness. Hmm. <clears throat> yeah, that's how the show begins. Or uh, begins. So there's a murder, and then they, they call the FBI. And Dale Cooper is the one that shows up. Diane, 11.30 a.m., February 24th. Entering the town of Twin Peaks. Never seen so many things <laughs> in my life. That was weird. As W.C. Fields would say, I'd rather be here than Philadelphia. This is exactly how it starts. Are they just recreating this, this the series? I, I'd be down with that. My mileage? Oh, weather mileage. Oh, I can pick? Pick weather. 54 degrees on a slightly overcast day. The weatherman said rain. You get paid that kind of money for being wrong 60% of the time. It'd be working. Can I hit mileage? Oh, okay, there's two options. Mileage is 79,345. Gauge is on reserve. Riding on fumes here. I got to tank up when I get into town. Remind me to tell you how much that is. Lunch. Lunch was... Uh, Six dollars and thirty-one cents at the Lamplighter Inn. That's on fucking what? Lewis Fork. A Big Mac costs like six dollars now. He got lunch for that. That was a tuna fish sandwich on whole wheat, slice of cherry pie, and a cup of coffee. What? Damn good food. So cheap. Diane, if you ever get up this way, that cherry pie is worth a stop. The nineties were wild. It is a math game. <laughs> no, no. I think it's like survival horror. I don't know what kind of game it is. I, I legit don't know. Okay. Looks like I'll be meeting up with the uh, Sheriff Harry S. Truman. Harry S. Truman. Didn't be too hard to remember that. We'll be at the Calhoun Memorial Hospital. Guess we're gonna go up to intensive care and take a look at that girl that crawled down the railroad tracks off the mountain. 
after I finish here, I'll be checking into a motel. I'm sure the sheriff will be able to recommend a clean place, reasonably priced. That's what I need. Clean place, reasonably priced. <laughs> I fucking love oh, Dale. He's I so great. I almost forgot not to find out what kind of trees these are. They're really something. It's like he walks the line of cool and like nerdy and geeky. Oh, now they're doing the intro to the show. Where, where's the song? Frost and David Lynch. The geniuses behind this masterpiece series. All right, now we're actually playing. So it has tank controls. You got 180 spin. Sheriff Truman must be waiting for me inside. Wait, what's that? What was that? Am I going crazy? Oh, yeah. What is that? On the floor. There was a matchbox. Do you take it? I take it. I thus took it. Great hospital in a small town. What else can we find that's secret around here? Oh, the log lady. That's the log lady. She's already here. <laughs> log lady. <laughs> I lied, Annie. This is you. This is really you. This is actually you. Watch where you step. The owls are watching today. Uh, I'm sorry, but I don't understand. My log saw something that night. Really? What did it see? Ask it. I thought so. One day my log will have something to say about this. She's a very, very weird character. She just goes around carrying a log. Okay, I can't go out that way. Let's go inside. The sheriff's car. Oh, there's garbage here. Twin Peaks Gazette. Twin Peaks is more than just a spot of pine trees. We all know the darkness of the woods surrounding the town. Today they find another meaning. Early this morning, on February 24th, 1989? Is that old? Uh, a dead body was found down by Rocky Lake Shore by a man going fishing. Laura Palmer, a young 17-year-old uh, girl, homecoming queen, and a true symbol of youthful innocence. Ah, very funny. Very ironic statement there. Who many of us knew and loved will now be forever missed. Today is a sad day here in Twin Peaks. The entire town is mourning her loss. But the morning cold was hiding something else. Ronette Pol uh, Pol Polaski. 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 A classmate of Laura. Was discovered across the state line in a, in a fugue state. Covered in bruises. She was immediately transferred to the Calhoun Memorial Hospital. Here in Twin Peaks. Oh, I guess I'm going to see her. Sheriff Truman in charge of the investigation did not comment on the case. Saying that an official announcement will be made later by the end of the day. Are you calling me weird now? Fuck. <laughs> I meant weird in a cool way. Also, you love logs. She loves logs the way you love cows. Who's this guy? Oh, it's the guy with the one arm? What is his name? Man, smell those trees. Yeah, I forgot this guy's name. He's like, he's a, he's Bob's brother or something. Uh, not from around here, are you? He's the guy into town. What are you waiting for out here outside? I'm waiting for someone. A friend. Shouldn't be too long now. Alright, I'll leave you to your business then. What's in the briefcase? Oh, that's what I'm selling these days. It's my sample case. Shoes! Everybody needs shoes. Excuse me, but how did you lose your arm? What's this all about? I'm just a shoe salesman. Sorry, I was just, uh, just being curious. Car accident. I was on the road from Memphis to someplace, selling pharmaceuticals. Pretty good job. I don't think we introduced ourselves. G Gerard? Philip Gerard. Special Agent Dale Cooper. FBI here? Recent events. Can't tell much. Gotta go now. Nice talking to you, Mr. Gerard. Alright. Yeah, that guy is very important. Sure. 
Oh, I see coffee. Oh, that's Laura's dad. Uh, my little girl. Oh, God, my baby girl. Oh, my baby. Laura. My God, I can't believe it. Sir? Sir, would you excuse me? He's not listening. I need to get uh, I need to get his attention. Oh, my F uh, FBI badge? Uh, I can flash my badge? That should be a button. Press X to flash badge. My service badge this summer, it will be 12 years since I joined the Bureau. Russell Banks case? 17 year old- Oh, this ties in with the, the movie. Which is a prequel. Her body was found in Wind River. Wind River? Isn't that a movie? Wind River. Yeah, I think it is with uh, uh, Hawkeye and uh, Scarlet Witch. Uh, so they found another girl, 17, wrapped in plastic. A year ago. Service weapon. I never part with it. I knew the risks before joining the agency. Matchbox. 50 matches. The bureau. That's the game case. The bureau official manual. I come back to it from time to time. Oh, that's cool. Like an actual PS1 uh, manual. Contains everything an agent of the bureau needs to know. How do I get out of here? Can I use it? What the hell is this cover? What am I looking at? It's like AI art gone bad. What? Okay, so buttons here, validate, pause, quick turn, cancel, inventory run. History. I cannot read that. The body of a young girl, Laura Palmer. We got the characters. Oh yeah, where's Annie? Oh, no Annie here. Damn it. That's awesome. A manual inside the game. He posts for ants. I know, right? What's this for? Oh yeah, he's always talking into his recorder. Use it regularly to record messages. We're hitting use. I got here. Oh wait, I have to use what the hell's going on? This menu is weird. I gotta use this, right? How do I use it? I'm hitting oh there you go. Huh? Okay. Excuse me, sir. Special agent Dale Cooper, FBI. FBI? Are you here to help my little girl? Are you Mr. Palmer? Leyland. Leyland Palmer. Oh god, my baby. I'm sorry. Uh, will you help us catch the bastard who did this har these horrors to my little girl? Can't promise anything for now, but uh, I'm here to help. Uh, I'll let you know if we find anything. You have my word. Thank you, officer. Agent Cooper. Don't mention it. As I said, I'm here to help. Thank you, Agent Cooper. You tell me more about Laura. My baby. She was all my life, the apple of my eye. Sweetest child we could ever dream of. Twin Peaks is a small town, everybody knows. Used to know, uh, uh Laura. Are you okay? Yes, yes, I think, uh, I have to handle this. Here's a picture of her. <gasps> it's the photo. 1989, you get a picture of Laura. Isn't she sweet? I should leave him alone for now. Let me get that coffee. Oh yeah, here it goes. Coffee time. Chug, 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 chug. Damn good coffee. <laughs> Damn good coffee. He played a bad guy in Robocop? Oh, you mean uh the dad, right? Yeah, he did, he did. Uh I think he was the guy who got his face melted, right? Wasn't he the guy who got like uh he fell into the uh, the toxic waste. He was like, oh, that part was so fucking scary. When I was a kid and I saw that guy's face melting, I had nightmares for uh, for months. Moo. Receptionist. I don't remember this character. Who's this? Welcome. Can I help you? Special Agent Dale Cooper, FBI. I'm supposed to meet with Sheriff Harry S. Truman. 
Oh, you must be here for the, uh, about those girls. About those girls. Can you tell me more about those girls? Ronette uh, is a quiet girl. Never had the chance to really know her. She was brought here nearly unconscious, all covered in wounds. The doctor said her condition was stabilizing. The other girl. What happened to the other girl? Laura? She used to be so sweet. Why should this happen to her? When I saw her like that, it was so... I'm sorry, it's just too much too much emotion. Where is the intensive care department? It's on the second floor. Take the elevator from here and it should be the first on your right. Thank you, ma'am. I uh, had a good weekend. Not too bad. I went upstate to New York. Upstate New York. And uh, yeah, I had a chill time. It was like we got a, a super scary like rainstorm, like a flash flash rainstorm. Some of the streets were like flooded. But I went away pretty quickly. If it had lasted longer, it would have done a lot of damage. Look at that shirt. Oh my god. That shirt is like making my eyes bleed. Who's this guy? Is that a... What's his face? Matthew McConaughey? M McConaughey? Uh, I've been waiting here for three hours to think they forget. They forgot about me. What is it? Haven't you heard? Uh, who could believe this would happen in such a peaceful town? But I don't want to talk about it. I've got enough problems as it is. What are you doing here? I'm waiting for permission to visit my daughter. She had a car accident last night. I'm sorry. Uh, I came as fast as I could. Now I'm stuck here and no one would let me see her. Is she alright? Doctor says she's out of trouble, but uh, I won't rest until I see her. Who are you, man? Anna? I hope you're alright. Who's Anna? Could definitely use some hot coffee. As a coffee addict. I feel his pain. You see that girl early, early this morning? Is that Heather Graham? I can't tell who that face is. I know Heather Graham is in this in this series. Don't think that's her though. Uh, you mean the strange woman who always walks around with her log? <gasps> you mean Annie? <laughs> No, silly. That dead girl the sheriff brought in. Oh, that girl. Poor thing. She was so pretty. What could have happened to her? Who knows? She was all covered in blood when they brought her in. Who could do such a thing? There's also that other girl they found at the edge of death. What a nightmare. She she had bruises all over her body. And she couldn't even tell which day it is. She seemed so lost and confused. I hope she gets better soon. Where's the elevator? Is it? That's not the elevator. Where's the elevator? Let's run this way. Uh, BG3 Mama in the general chit chat in Discord. Oh, you posted her? I'm going to try to alt tab. Hopefully, I don't crash. If I do, I'll be right back. I got to see this mama, man. Whoa, you made her way too hot. That's mama? Hot mama, more like it. Look at that hot mama. She looks like so like an actor. I don't know which actor. She looks like somebody. Very nice mom. Man, the, the, the graphics are incredible. <laughs> Very good stuff. Man, mama was hot when she was younger. Oh, what's this here? This is like a wanted thing or a missing sign. Can I read this? Yeah, what's this? A whole screen here I didn't see. Missing dog Cinnamon? That's a great dog name. Last seen around old sawmill. More missing posters. Rachel Amber is 19 years old. Call Sheriff Department with any information. I don't know if Rachel Amber is, uh, is connected to the, to the show or not. Don't recall that name. What's this poster here? Oh, wait. That's got to be like the developer. Come observe the local wildlife of Ghostwood Forest. Only you like... Uh, if only you like birds, you don't want to miss it. If only you like birds, you don't want to miss it. I don't like birds. <laughs> okay. All right. Elevator. There it is. 
Let's see a doctor. What's up with this camera shot? What is this? Oh, the elevator, I guess. Put in the elevator in frame. Doctor, it's been a hard day's night. You singing or are you talking? You were here this morning? I wish I wasn't. I will never forget what I saw. What happened to those girls? Mama is hot right now. Excuse you. <laughs> You're right. I, I, I take that back. My aunt and uncle have a dog named Cinnamon. Nice. I love that name. It works so well. Uh, my daughter goes to the same high school, you know. We think that this kind of horror, these these kind of horrors could have happened to her. I'm sorry, but I don't feel like uh, talking about it. I'm looking for Sheriff Truman. He took the elevator to the intensive care department on the second floor. All right, second floor to the right. Ooh, a mirror. Damn, I'm hot. <laughs> I'm gonna lick the mirror. I'm so fucking hot. What is this thing? Twin Peaks annual fishing contest. Last year's champion, Pete Mart Martel, is ready to defend his title. This is so good, man. This is like a little love letter to the series. I want to play this with like David Lynch. Oh, there he is. There's a uh, the sheriff. He wears his hat. Yeah, me too, Annie. Good touch. Yeah, the the whispering. It's, it's a bad recording, that's why. They probably ripped it from like um, a pirated copy of the episodes. Not the best quality. Is, is it too low? Is it? I can maybe turn it up a bit. Wait. Mm. Yeah, here we go. I lowered it because I thought it might be too high. I can't really increase uh, the voice. Let's go, yeah, let's go like that. The music is also kind of low as well. Yeah, it, it, it's probably a little bit of both, I think. I don't know. But luckily, we have text. Where am I? Where am I? Where am I? Oh, it's only crashed. Did it fucking crash? Okay, no, I didn't. The menu is very weird. Barnett must be in her room with Dr. Shelby. Good evening, Special Agent Dale Cooper, FBI. I'd like to see Renette Paul... I guess her name. Pul Pulaski, that's it. Pulaski. Pulaski. Where's that name from? It's possible. Of course, she must be with Dr. Shelby in her room. It's the first on the right behind the desk. Thank you. Wait, that's the left. It said right. Okay, there it is. All right. Don't know why he went the long way, but okay. You're the chief here, buddy. Hello, Lioness. What's up? Are you a Twin Peaks fan? We are. We're playing a fan made a fan made game, a demo of a fan made game for Twin Peaks. Dr. Shelby, this is FBI agent Dale Cooper. Doctor, who's the girl? She's in shock. Suffering from exposure. Oh, I remember this doctor. Yeah, I remember her. Uh, connection with the other girl. Sheriff, any connection to the dead girl? Sh uh, same high school as far as we know. They hardly knew each other. No connection. You know what Twin Peaks is? Oh, no. It's, uh, it's an, an old TV show. Uh, I put David Lynch on the map, I would say. But uh, worth uh, worth checking out. Th th this game hits a lot, a lot harder if you know the series. But if you don't know it, then it's just a cool looking PS1 survival horror looking game. Uh, Ronette's condition. What's her physical condition? She's not doing well. Her body has suffered serious physical and psychological injuries. She, uh, was she raped several times? Oh, no. Uh, it's a whole ass meme. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm with you. Uh, I'm the same way with like pretty much everything. Like I have a I have lists for uh, anime, manga, comics, books, TV shows, and movies that I want to watch. 
the list just gets longer and longer. But I'll definitely add Twin Peaks. If you like weird uh, psychological drama shows, I guess you can call them. Uh, yeah, add it to your list. David Lynch is somebody everybody should know. He's, he's, he's really cool. He has a very unique style. Uh, one in Perpetrator. We're waiting for the results. It's, it's like, imagine, X, you know the, the, the wacky parts of X-Files? If you've seen X-Files? X-Files is heavily inspired by Twin Peaks. Uh, but the wacky parts of X-Files, Twin Peaks has a lot of that. But more, more so. And it does it in a weird way. You read 20 books this summer? I, I'm freaking, I'm reading like 20 books a year. So I'm jealous that you can read uh, that many books in a summer. Right now, I began reading uh, freaking uh, Lord of the Rings like an idiot, and it's taking me so long. I, I have a, a goal on Goodreads to read like 10 books a year. Uh, I'm like two books away from finishing. And one of, the, one, of the, one of the books is Lord of the Rings. I don't know why I picked that one. I'm a dumbass. Um, this girl doesn't even know where she is or if she is. What exactly are you saying? We need a CAT scan and we are not equipped for that here. My opinion, she may have neurological damage. Uh, at Oppenheimer. Yeah, I mean, Oppenheimer is unavailable. If you want a good Nolan movie, go watch Prestige. Prestige is incredible. Uh, my opinion, she may have neurological damage. She's just not responsive at all. Uh, you're pushing to read 100 books this year? Whoa, lioness. Please let me borrow like a fraction of that brain power of yours. Uh, I'm a very slow reader, so I, I, I don't do ambitious uh, reading goals. Like 10 books a year is already like pushing it. Well, unless I pick like short reads, which I, I never, I never do. I always like, I always do those like those big series, like an idiot. Like those Stephen King novels that are like massive. Uh, oh, your mom loved it. Mm -mm. Oppenheimer is worth watching though. It is a good movie. It was pretty cool. Nolan is he's always on point. Nolan, even even when he's off, like Tenet, he does some good stuff. Uh, I'd like to examine her fingers. All right. You don't watch movies or TV shows? That would explain why uh, you're so good at reading. Your mind hasn't been numbed by, by TV shows. Uh, they're, already uh, they're already scraped for particles? Okay, so they, they checked your fingers already. Nah, that's not what I'm looking for. Nope, nope. There's nothing here. Not a thing. Ronnie? Ronette? I wonder if the music is uh like from the soundtrack or something. It fits very well. We should let her rest. She went through a lot in the past few hours. Sure. Oh yeah, movies you definitely gotta gotta pay attention. That's the mistake a lot of people make. They they go on their phones, they get bored by, by like a movie. And then they miss like, a lot of important scenes because they're on their phone or something or looking away. Where am I? Ronette? All right, talk to this guy. Poor girl, I can't imagine what happened to her. But don't worry, like usually a lot of uh, Oppenheimer is actually based on a book. So maybe you, you should read the book and you'll, you'll get the same uh, information out of it. Uh, I forget the name of the book, but it's like a um, like a biography by uh, um, about Oppenheimer. American Prometheus, yeah, that's the one, yeah. All right, do I leave this place now? Oh, was this? I, Jared Lancaster, have decided to leave the towers, a complex owned by me solely to my daughter Jade. <laughs> I don't know what this is. I don't remember this uh, 
commercial. It's gotta be from the show, I just don't remember it. Jade. Daddy, please, I know you're in there. The hell is this? <laughs> Jade, what a surprise. I wasn't expecting it. Oh, Daddy, don't pretend. Not with me. Not anymore. Jade, I... I know the pain you've been going through. And Chet... Chet's told me about your financial difficulties. Guys, we're gonna watch the whole thing, guys. You mustn't give Watching this entire... So I don't know if it's an ad or a movie. The awful truth is I... Get comfortable, guys. This is the game now. I have nothing. Oh, dear. That's not true. You have me. You have Watching a drama inside of a drama. Yay, Jade. Foolish old. You saved your dad, Jade. Good luck. I mean, uh, congratulations. How could I have ever doubted that? Invitation to love will return <laughs> these messages. Why was he looking at her hair like that? It's like, wait a minute. This is not your real hair. There's more? Oh, ooh la la. Mmm. There always will be. I can barely. For God's sake, Emerald. Give you and me a good old rub. I can I barely hear him. That's it. Nice and it's hot. Wrong. Hot and spicy oh, meat. Boy. <laughs> yeah, boy. Let's just play a little game, you and I. Just pretend I'm Jade. Oh, God, you're evil. Pretend I'm Jade. What the fuck is this? Oh. You know what I want? I bet this must be like a show that was running in the background during the show. The actual show. My father's new will. Get it for me. Now. No children, don't look away. Anything you want. This is how you learn about the birds and the bees. And the hoes. And the simps. <laughs> We're still going on? Why is it still going? Alright, what, what, so... She convinced this guy to come... Steal something from the old man? Sorry, Laura Palmer. Your, your, uh, your death will not be resolved tonight. We're watching telenovelas. Yeah, I bet you Jade walks in. <laughs> what would that say? C Cease and desist? I, I don't know what the fuck that thing said. It said. It's a bow tie. Once this new will is oh, l last will, I think I said. It's a will. Who the fuck is this dude wearing black leather? What? Who's that guy? So glum. Life goes on. Trust me. God forgive me. Oh, darling, don't be so morbid. Love her hair. It's Jade who have to forgive you now. At midnight tonight, the towers will all be mine. It's almost midnight. Fifteen minutes till midnight. Let's get one thing straight. Your hair is very nineties, like late eighties. Dodging blow darts for my health. Correction, darling. The tower so so much like body on that hair. That's more like it. That hair has has so much body it deserves its own name. There's Jade. Yay, Jade is here. Jade. I just picked the most beautiful flowers. Jade with those big shoulders yeah. on her jacket. What's wrong? Hello, sister. Sister. Emerald. Oh my god. Montana, 
My God, what are you doing here? Montana. Have a seat, Jade. Ex-boyfriend. Montana, pour Jade a drink. I think she's gonna need it. <laughs> Emerald, please, don't do this. Oh my God, I just got the names. Daddy, what's this all about? Jade and Emerald. Baby, everything's cool. I think it's time we all had a nice talk. <laughs> Tune in tomorrow for Invitation to Love. Invitation to Love. Is it over? Better not be over. Oh my god, they tied up the old man! Oh my god, tied up! What did he do? They're, they're mouthing, but they're not talking. I don't hear anything. She's like, oh, they tied me up. Call the cops. Oh, no. Montana's gonna f fuck him up. Because that's Montana. Take his lunch money. Oh, snap. <laughs> what the hell? Stay tuned for part two of... <laughs> they didn't even say anything. I love it. I love a silent movie. It's like that show Primal. Oh, there's more. Jade, here's to old time. Don't drink it. He spiked it. Should old acquaintance be forgot? Don't trust this guy. He, he's clearly a date rapist. Montana, I, I don't drink anymore. Not since you went away. Don't also, he is the ex-boyfriend. Bottoms up, one for the road, for old times' sake. You used to be the life of the party. Well, when we were married, I was a different person. Married? Ex-husband? The time that you've been gone, you'd appreciate that I've tried to make something of myself. Oh, oh my God. It, Jade, more than you know. While you were away, I prayed you'd die. <laughs> Out there in the rainforest, there would be a... This is the best, uh... This is the best soap opera I've ever seen. It's also the only soap opera I've ever seen. Baby, I haven't met anything yet I can't handle. Damn. Oh yeah? Let's see how you handle this. Yeah, shoot that motherfucker. Relax. Jade, you better go make that call now. Shoot him. Shoot him. I'm warning you, Montana. You ruined my first marriage. But to tell you the truth, Emerald was lost to me. Long before you ever drifted into our lives. Wait, what? But if you lay a hand on my wife, Jade. Wait a minute. So he was married to Emerald and now he's married to Jade? And Jade was married to Montana? What the fuck? What kind of weird, incestuous nod is this? Like only three people in this town? And they're all married to each other? To love will continue. Oh boy. No more dialogue. Like you get near my wife, I'm gonna shoot you, man. I'm gonna shoot your balls off. Oh, he shot him! Let's go! And he blew his ears out. Did he say motherfucker? Oh, I can't see. I can't I can't read his lips. I got Emerald pregnant. It's my kid. Yeah, who- the, the old man is the father, I guess? Because Jade called him dad. And Emerald and Jade are siblings. I guess he's, he's like the, the rich dad. Last will and testament. Yeah, that's what it says. What is she up to? What is Emerald doing? There's two last wills? Oh, crap. She's burning one of the wills. What's the other will have then? I guess she changed it. Like, oh, leave everything to me. Damn, she's scheming. Stay tuned for more invitation to love. <laughs> Following these messages, and every hour holds the promise of an. I think it. Invitation. Did it reset? I think the timer re reset. 
If Montana's alive, then I think we saw it all. That was great. Bravo. The tower is... Yeah, I think it's like the beginning of it. Wait, the Twin Towers? Penthouse? Yes, Emerald, it's got that glam look. She's pissed about something. She's doing coke. Alright, yeah, this has gotta be the beginning. Alright, we'll, we'll stop there. We saw how it ended. Well, that, that was a nice little trip. Let's ask uh, the big okay, milky balls. <laughs> this is bothering me. I got I got to fix this thing here. This is bothering me. It's clipping through. Wait, how come it's not? There we go. Perfect. Just like you, chat. Perfect. Uh, poor girl. Never thought something like that. Uh, this would happen around here. Any suspects in mind? A couple of small-time kids, but nothing like this. For now, let's go downstairs, take a look at the dead body in the morgue. <laughs> Mama's big milky balls. What's happening? Uh, what? Doing dialogue? Oh, yeah, yeah, this is like the the doctor. He's a wacky one. Am I moving this guy? What's going on? The game is broken. Oh, I think this is like a unknown bug. No. God damn it! Oh wait, oops, that's me. Get out of here. Here's a moment of truth. Maybe it was uh, the, the novella that was messing up the game. Didn't watch it this time. Pull him out of the water and think about it fucking works now, finally. There's this fish and I pull him out of the water. What? Hey, hey. So uh, there was an update and it worked. Harry, Dr. Jaco Jacoby? Jacoby. Terrible, terrible tragedy. Yes. <laughs> Cooper's face. This is Special Agent Dale Cooper. Hmm, Gary Cooper? Agent Cooper. Agent? FBI? Right. Dr. Lawrence Jacoby, Jacoby, Agent Cooper. Laura was my, uh, was a patient of mine. Listen, you're uh, on your way to the morgue now. Do you mind if I join you? Yes, I do. Why would you want to? Sort of against procedure, doctor. Well, no offense. I, uh, I thought I could be of uh, some help. You still could be another time. Oh, I, uh, I understand completely, yeah. Oh, by the way, Laura's, uh, Laura's parents. They didn't know that she was seeing me? Oh, like a, like a patient. If you could, uh, if you change your mind, I'll be in my office. That guy is, is a psychiatrist? <laughs> yeah. He should be in a psychiatrist's office. Not be the psychiatrist. Alright, going down the elevator to the morgue. Oh, I gotta talk to uh, Truman. This way. Or is it here? Oh, maybe it's here. Oh, that's the, uh, the white blanket. Laura Palmer. Sheriff, I'd like to examine her body, and I'm gonna need your assistance. All right, where should we start? Oh, okay. 
Pliers? Any pliers? Or what are these called? Tweezers. Tweezers. Taking the tweezers. Do I take both tweezers? Plus the uh, medical document. 5'7", 120 pounds. Uh, next of kin, Leland and Sarah. Wrists, ankles, and upper arms bound with twine. Entire body wrapped in thick plastic sheeting, secured with white strapping tape. Body had been in water, but was not waterlogged. Covered with sand. Tweezers. Tweezer. I can't think of their songs. Is her head missing? Oh wait, that's her hair. Her shoulders. Her wounds are still open. At what time did you find the body? Around 7 a.m. There are several claw marks and bites. Could it be animals? She was still alive. She was wrapped in plastic. Scavengers would uh, could not have attacked her. Anything else? Uh, her neck. More bites and marks. Something standing on her shoulder. Like a bird? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Uh, let's see her hands. Here, there is something on her left hand. But I can't take it. Oh, tweezer time. Tweezers, time to shine. Oh, I have to disinfect? Oh, I guess for uh, for evidence. Not for her, like, well-being. I think I saw some liquid on the wall. There it is. Wait, that tweezer? That's not their name. You got me. I thought it was a real band. There's got to be a band called, like, Tweezer. Some, like, uh, Weezer wannabe band. Oh, wait, wait, we have to uh, combine it. I know, I know, I know. Combine this with this. Did it work? Bro, this menu is terrible. What the fuck is wrong with the menu? Okay, I need a tool. You are the tool, Dale. There we go. What will we find? We did scrape her, uh, those nails when we brought her in. There it is, there it is, finally, there it is. What? Diane, I'm at the Twin Peaks County Moore with the body of the victim. What's her name? Laura Palmer. Laura Palmer. I got her before the autopsy. Diane, it's the same thing. I told you I had a feeling you'd see this again. What do you got? Oh, there's a motive. Ring finger, under the nail. Not motive, but like, uh, recurring evidence. An R. You get the letter R. It's an R. Diane, give this to Albert and his team. Don't go to Sam. Albert seems to have a little more on the ball. We need to bag and tag this. Okay, Cooper. You gonna let me in on whatever the hell is going on here? Sheriff, we've got a lot to talk about. Well, you'll have all the time to tell me about this in the car. If you have anything to do before we leave, now is the time. I'll wait for you outside. Like saving the game, perhaps? May I save, please? Oh, wait, not this. We need that. Yeah. Close, close, close. What could this letter mean? Anything else we need? No, I think that's it. Machines. All right, let's get out of here. Where'd he go? This way? Door is locked. Why is there a freaking suitcase out here? I guess someone's inside. Who's in there? A briefcase like the one 
Uh, like the one of the man waiting outside the hospital. Anybody there? Anybody there? Hello? Hello? I can hear you farting, sir. Sir, I can hear you farts. I know you're, <laughs> I know you're in there, sir. Your farts have given you away, sir. Sir, I know <laughs> come out with your farts up. Oh, you got blocked by the time. The cooldown. Cooldown block. That, so that's that's a, the the girls' room. I'm not going in there. I'm a gentleman. Is it here then? The emergency exit? It's not working. Something's wrong. Oh shit. Oh, it's happening. We're going into the room, the velvet room. We're gonna meet uh the nose. Wait, what to the music? It was like all jazzy. Oh. I don't think this happened in the show. I don't think you went in here this soon. And okay, never mind. I thought I crashed. Which way do I go? Left or right? Dead end. Oh, is it a door? It's a door. Oh man, are we gonna meet the guy who talks backwards? Oh, there's a statue. Where am I? Er? Is this where I fuse my persona? Hello, chat. I'm Dale Cooper. Oh, this is like a maze. I gotta open up the right velvet wall. Oh, we got something here. Very small desk. Oh, the golden heart necklace. That's important. Let's check that out. Let's examine it. Oh wait, let's examine this. Inspect. R for radical. A similar piece of paper with the letter T was found under the left ring finger of Teresa Banks. Oh, oh god. You is awful. Can I inspect it? Like the X doesn't work anymore. Why? You know what? Forget it. I'm not fighting this game anymore. Oh, there is the jazz. This is so cool. Let me go back in there. I think I may maybe didn't search a corner. There should be more here. We got flashing light. Where is it? So creepy. Right, let's go here. There's something missing. I wonder if they mean the necklace. Oh, they do. Is that an owl's face? The head is now looking in the other way. Is 
the other way. Now we're talking. Small globe, it looks like a miniature of Saturn. I think I sit down here. I could swore that it, that this statue is watching me. Maybe here. Sit down. <laughs> that blank stare. <laughs> it's Laura, she's back. Walking backwards. Where am I? Not talking. This is the waiting room. Waiting room for what? For me. Who are you? Don't you recognize me? Are you Laura Palmer? I feel like I know her. Sometimes I dream of a man in a world of fire. She's filled with secrets. Today we're solving a mystery. <laughs> ah, I'll see you again. Meanwhile, was that the demo? Street lights. Oh, my God, they got the band in here. <laughs> they really know what they're doing. They don't fucking pull any punches. <laughs> Maybe they inspired the Pepe band. The Peepo band. Come on, bass guy. At least touch the strings. They got two basses? Wow. Matthew with a U in it? That's a weird way to spell that. Okay, I hear a saxophone, but I don't see a saxophonist. We got two bass players, though. To be continued. Thank you for making it. Team Blue Rose, I think they're called. Blurs by David Lynch. He writes music as well, I forgot. The man can do it all. He makes viral TikToks. Oh, like a trailer? I love that. Trailer for the upcoming game or build. There's the uh, the famous cafe where he drinks his coffee and has an orgasm. All right, that was uh, Twin Peaks Into the Night demo. Had a few uh, crashes, but we made it through. Interesting stuff. I'm curious to see what uh, what they do with that.